everybody and welcome of course again to safari live this is live this is interactive this is happening right now as you watch this hippopotamus go on a little bit of a stroll now i'm hearing all sorts of strange noises i'm not sure if it's a car what that sound is my name is taylor and on camera with me today is david like I said, if you want to ask us any question because it is live, it's happening right now, you can hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or you can, well, send some questions also on the YouTube chat. I heard some interesting noises. I don't know if it was a distress call. There is a big herd of elephants. It could have been a youngster making a bit of noise. But I think that this is just absolutely beautiful to start the morning off by watching a hippopotamus go on a little bit of a walk. It seems to be modeling up and down this massive drainage system. And it's quite funny. I think it's uh, not quite sure which way to go. There's lots of vehicles just starting their safaris now. I think they're obviously going to be looking for lions. And I don't think the lions are very far from here because they've become, cars have become quite sort of stationary. But we'll let them have a little look first. You know what I'm like. I like to view everything all by myself. And once they all move on, then we'll carry on. But that's great. Look, a zebra in the background, a bit of mist as well. It's quite hazy out today. That's one thing I've definitely noticed. Haven't seen too many clear days out here. <laughs> There's everyone's on their way, ready to go. So excited to be out in the Mara Triangle. Now, Izzy, you said good morning. Maurice, it is a good morning. Maurice is with us, of course, today. I've just actually, you caught me in the act, really. I was trying to stabilize... Uh, Maurice's chair. Uh, Maurice is obviously quite different. I'll show you Maurice now. Now sit up nicely, sit up straight. We have to have manners, of course. Uh, we'd not raise you that way. Oh, and the scarf. Got to fix the scarf. Bring that oh, no, it's quite nice over the shoulder, I think. But yes, so very important when you are in a car to always wear your safety belt. Byron likes to do a tip of the day, and he will be joining us a little bit later. He's actually going to be on a bushwalk. So we must remember to ask him about his tip of the day. Mine is going to be safety. How does that sound? Right, where's our hippo gone? I think, let's do a little bit of maneuvering. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to our friend, the hippo. We'll keep our distance though. They can be quite nervy outside of the, nervy, nervous. <laughs> Just shorten that word. <laughs> nervous outside of the water. Right, and we'll go around, actually coming towards us. So I'll just go around the bend and we'll sit on the road and we'll let the hippo come to us. Hopefully it will be relaxed enough to approach us. So I'll just go in very slowly. And then we'll have a look. Don't be frightened of us, Mr. Hippop Mr. or Mrs. Hippopotamus. I also haven't been able to tell you what the sex is, but we'll have a look now. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. It's okay, Hippo. Now, a question from Zaz, and I think Snazzy too, and that is, can hippos run? Wow, you, you would actually be impressed as to how fast a hippopotamus can actually move. I hope that it doesn't start running now, though. That won't be good for us, because that means that it will be unsettled. So I'm quite ha happy if it keeps its gait at a walk. But they can move very, very quickly. They have got sort of a very barrel-shaped body with short, stubby little legs and for those of you who are perhaps seeing hippo for the first time you would think these things can't move quickly what absolute nonsense are these guys talking about but i promise you it is terrifying when a hippo uh, gets up to full tilt it will make you want to climb a tree actually that's one of the only ways you can get away from hippos climb a tree or climb up on some rocks where they can't get you off it goes now, Starlight, you're wondering if I can tell if the hippo is pregnant. You can normally. It's still going down into this massive drainage system. We'll see if we can get another view. That was quite graceful. Uh, normally, you'll see the belly gets quite swollen. Sort of how we look at zebras. You, you, you must have seen a couple of mares in full. They sort of bulge from uh, the sides. And that's exactly what happens with a, a hippo. Uh, let me see if I can get closer. I actually didn't have get an opportunity to see if it was a male or female, to be honest. I didn't have a proper look. But it... Looked like there was a couple of scratches on it, so maybe it's a, a male. Let's see, there's a massive drainage system down here. It's huge, and the Ngama Pride like to hang around here as well. There's a little bit of water. I don't know if this hippo will rest yet. It could. It could totally come and rest in a nice shady spot. There is bits some of pool, not bits, but a couple of pools of water. Oh, it's just going around the edge. It's sneaky on the ledge. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get it. I can't off-road here. You'll just see its bottom disappearing. There it goes. Look at that. 
Oh, oh it's just stuck. Well, this should be able to give us a chance. It looks like it's a female. Well, the reason why I say it's a female also looks like it's missing a little bit of hair on its tail is because I can't sh see the sheath of, uh, of well, the, the man bits. Um, so that would make it a female. But off it goes. It's now disappeared down to the drainage line, unfortunately, out of view. But I'm going to show you my next favorite animal. The